Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be flying my MRM Reaper that I flew uh, just uh, yesterday. This time we're gonna have the Runcam 3 on it. I'm gonna show you how I mounted it real quick. Um, I don't have the perfect mount for it and it's not a well-protected one, so I'm hoping that I don't crash. So I'm trying, uh, I'm gonna try not to do anything too crazy. So this is my setup here. I've got the Runcam 3 on top. It's a little TPU mount. Now this is one that I cut down because I wanted to use one of the M10s with the, one of the session mounts and obviously it was too big so I made a little saddle for it. So this is what I'm gonna be flying with today. It's not ideal because the camera's not protected but I have ordered some uh, mounts, so that's going to be coming pretty soon. But this is the MRM Reaper with the T-Motor F40 Pros. These are the 2600 kV motors, and I have the Bullet ESCs on there, uh, running an SP Racing F3 board. The new Runcam Swift 2 with the voltage monitoring on there. Uh, and the new Pagoda antenna. This one's from Menace RC. It works pretty good. I don't really notice any big difference of in, in reception, but it does work well. So. Um, Racecraft 5051 props. The tattoo batteries uh, is the R-Line 1300, so, and I also have my drone keeper on there. Uh, for you guys that don't know, it's accelerometer based, you just turn it on, it has its own battery, and if you go down, 30 seconds later it, uh, it um, goes off. And in these big weeds that we have here that are head high right now, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must. One. <laughs> Guys, uh, what do you think of that flight? Hopefully, I didn't make you guys too dizzy. Uh, I'm, I'm, my first pack. I'm always a little bit jittery on these sticks, so uh, um, we'll see how that video turned out. It's another cloudy day, so not the ideal lighting conditions, obviously. So, uh, all right. Thanks for joining my channel. That is my first flight on my quadcopter. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Bye.